Hi guys, welcome to Brew Stories, where it's our mission to meet the people and bring you the best stories about beer. That's right. Yeah. And today we're going to tell you all about additional cask ale. That's right. So, um, what should we call it then? Let's call it Ale Tales. <laughs> ale Tales. It's very really nice. Yeah. So we've come to the concert, we've come to the Grey Horse Inn. The um, concert's famous for its steelworks, for its tortilla chips. It's got a growing reputation now for brewing traditional beer. We're going to go inside and we're going to talk to Jeff, who runs Concert Ale Works, and see what the story is. Hi Jeff, and thank you for inviting us down to Constant Aleworks. Um, our first question really is, how would this all begin? Um, I suppose it began when I was at school and um, took my A-levels and decided to have a gap year uh, instead of going into university and went to Cameron's and worked at Cameron's as a trainee learning the brewing industry from start to finish, from production to sales to marketing learned an awful lot with what was happening in the beer market in those days which was um, somewhat traditional by Cameron's being a, a small brewer with a number of its own outlets and then we had the beer orders that came in from the government which didn't allow brewers to have their own estate or a state of so many and from there I went into retailing with Cameron's and really thought that uh, the brewing and the pub business was starting to drift and I'm a bit of a traditionalist and um, really like the Cascale market and decided to own some of my own bars and this is one of them. This is one I required about 14 years ago. So do you have a particular philosophy about brewing beer? I'm very much a traditionalist. Um, I love the Cascales. I love the variety. I love the way that they brewed. I love the people that are brewing them. It's um, it's very much um, I, I love I love a fair of beer, and uh, Cascale and Handful Ale is uh, my favourite market. So beer drinkers are changing. The times are changing. People are into their, their keg beer now. Yep. Do you see that as a challenge, or do you feel that it's not going to be a problem for you guys? I think keg. No, I think keg is waning. I think keg beers. Um, have maybe run their course. I believe that cask ales and the new craft beers that are coming in are now challenging a lot of the older um, gassy beers, can I say? And I think that's good. I think the pub industry has suffered an awful lot. Um, and I think with the introduction of these new variables within the beer market, I think that's a growth sector. I'm finding it a growth sector. I'm finding our beers going into that sector more and more. More and, pe more, and more people are asking for our beers being cascales. And I think with the cascales, you're getting to a sort of level whereby you've had an awful lot of microbrewers that have opened up around the country. And the good ones will survive in the same way the good pubs will survive. And I hope that we continue to be one of those in both areas, both the pubs and the Cascades. I know you've just undergone a rebound. What was the decision behind that move? Um, the pub's in concert. There's a huge amount of tradition and heritage in concert with the steelworks. Um, the steel has always been concert ale works from the day that we took over the Grey Horse. The Grey Horse, when I took it over, had a small brewery, which was the Red Rose Brewery, but it wasn't a very traditional brewery. Uh, we expanded the brewery to a five barrel brew plant and um, the branding that we initially did was good but I just wanted to emphasize more about Concert, Concert Steelworks, the people of Concert and wanted our brands just refreshing I suppose and managed to do that. I've got a, a, a good friend uh, Mick Oxley who's an artist out of Craster and we sat down many an afternoon, many a night with a beer and a couple of bottles of wine and sketched out some what we thought were quite exciting 
new brand ideas for Contadale works. And from those earlier days, we've progressed with those through graphic designers and um, come out with some brands that really enhance what we're trying to do here, but also reflect concert in a good light and reflect concert with that heritage that's associated with the Northeast. Is there a particular style of beer that you haven't made and that you'd like to brew? Could you tell us a little bit about it? Um, one of our jobs within Cameron's at the time was uh, I, I ran an importer beer company and set up the famous Firkin Supply Company. Um, one of the breweries I traded with was um, in Germany and we brought over Franziskana Weissbier. I remember when I used to go out to the Oktoberfest and take some people out there, probably a dozen of us used to go out at a time, and they all used to go for the big steins of beer to start with, and I used to have my vice beer, which was cloudy beer in those days, nobody would want cloudy beers. One by one, the twelve would come over, and by the end of the four or five days that we had in Munich, everyone was drinking vice beer. So if there was one that we hadn't brewed that I'd like to, maybe a vice beer. So what's your most successful beer and can we taste it? I think our most successful beer is probably Red Dust. I think, again going back to Cameron's, the Red Dust and Cameron Strong Arm were very similar. It's 4.5. It's a dark beer. I think it's a traditional beer. I think it works well with concert. And I think that, alongside maybe, I'm going to give you two now, alongside um, Concert English Pale Ale, which is a lighter beer, which is made with 100% um, hops, English hops. I think those two, prefer to pick one, I'd probably go with the Red Dust. There you go. <laughs> Thanks to Jeff. Fantastic, eh? I love it here. It's a really nice pub. So what are we drinking, Rich? Well, I've got the uh, the Red Dust, and you've got the Concert Stout. I have. I've got the Stout, which is really nice. It's a m nice deep multi stout it's lovely yeah very nice so Dean if you were going to um, convince some friends to come here who have never been here for the first time what would you tell them it's a proper old fashioned community pub mm -hmm. where um, I think we'd love it I think you'd have a great time in here yeah. I know I have I've, I've been surprised and I like it <laughs> <laughs> I mean because after all we do this for a little bit cheers guys Oh, of all the money that ever I spent, I did it in good company. And all the harm that ever I done, I did to no one else but me. And since it falls upon my lot, for me to rise and you to not, I will gently rise and I'll softly call, Good night and joy be with you all.